In this video, I'll show you how to use a cloud phone. Yes, you heard that right. A phone on the cloud, running on the internet. You have probably heard about cloud gaming. So this is kind of similar thing, but instead of renting games, you're renting virtual or a real Android phone that you can access anytime from any device. So this right here is actually a real cloud phone that I have rented. So if I go into settings, about phone this is actually a real phone that i'm using but on the cloud so the service that i'm using is called vmos cloud it lets you rent an android phone that runs on their server you don't need to install android on your device or run android emulator everything just works on the web browser or in the vmos cloud app this is available for almost all the operating systems out there including linux yes or you can simply use it on your web browser the user interface remains the same so i have actually installed a windows application of vmos cloud and you can see here i have actually rented a couple of phones and one phone is even running this is actually a real phone not the virtual one okay and i can also do the multitasking like for example i want to use this one okay now i have two phones running on the cloud that i can use it for anything that i want like maybe managing multiple accounts testing apps or whatever you want to do okay so to use this it's pretty simple actually uh click on this purchase plus icon here you can select the android version here you can select if you want the real device or a virtual device and each device you rent has its unique ip address that means let's say you live in united states and you want to have us based device you can select that country during the purchase and you'll have the us based cloud phone for example if i go to home you can see i have a couple of devices that i have rented and here you can see this phone is hong kong based and this one is us based so during device selection you can select the countries from here they also offer a free trial if you go to real device test and as of making this video it looks like all the devices are already occupied that means they are not available for testing but if you see available the device status you can just click on start debugging and it will open the device and you can start testing you can test that device for 10 minutes for free basically you'll get a device something like this okay and now you can just start testing maybe you want to test your app whether it works or not uh, let's say for example i have this application here that i'm gonna install from my pc and here you can see that application is installed now i can open this and here it's actually working so this is the app called local send free and open source application to send files in between devices locally or you can also go to upload section here you can upload your files apps or whatever you're trying to do let's say you're an app developer you can upload your application here and install it on the cloud phone you can import all types of files in here and test them on the cloud phone and there is this feature called grip control this is a very interesting feature with this you can replicate one of the device's actions in multiple devices in simple words you can control multiple devices like 100 plus devices at the same time let me actually give you guys a demo uh, i'm gonna click on grip control here i have to select the devices that i want to control at the same time so let's say for example i'm gonna select all of them maybe not this one and i'm gonna click on start control now one of the devices will become master control okay so this is the device okay controlling all the other devices in this group and you can choose any device that you want as a master control so like for example i'm gonna select this one now the, this device is the main device which is controlling everything it's like you can perform one action in one of these devices and it's going to replicate all those actions on other devices so let's say for example on this device the main master control device i'm gonna open the settings yeah it's gonna open the settings on all devices okay so basically let's say for example i want to install a application 
from Google Play Store. You open a Google Play Store, it's gonna open the Google Play Store and whichever application you install, it's gonna install that application on all devices. Let's say I wanna browse the internet, it's gonna browse the internet on all devices. You got the idea, I know you guys are smart. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting feature. You can batch input and also batch upload your files on all devices at the same time. And if you go to App Store, here you can install apps. Let's say for example, I wanna install the WhatsApp. So here I'll see all the devices that I have rented and I can select the specific device where I want to install that application. Or I can select all and I can install it. Here you can see the WhatsApp is now installed in here and also already installed on this one too. So if I go to home and open any you know, cloud phone that I have rented. You can see the WhatsApp is available here. You can do multitasking, manage multiple accounts or test multiple apps, games, whatever you're trying to do. This is pretty cool. And it's all happening on the cloud. Now look at that. The free 10 minute device test is now available. So to test them, just simply select the device that is available and click on start debugging and test out the cloud device for free. So if you're an app developer or something who wants to test their apps on different devices, this is actually really useful. And you can pay for the rented devices as you use them. Like maybe you just want to use it for one month or maybe a couple of days. Like you can see here, we can select how many days we wanna use it. Like for one day, it's 75 cents. Uh, for 30 days, it's almost $9, 90 days or one year. The pricing is flexible. Yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.